previously on Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah, here it goes. A coin into the sky. Who would have thought a big coin could restore the sky to its former glory? The light returns to Cantlin. Are you sure you want to leave this land behind and travel to the next island? Oh, we're leaving. Goodbye, Multiville. Goodbye, all my villagers. We have now unlocked chapter two. Rimaldar has been unlocked. Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. We are just about to start chapter two. I've researched a little bit actually and I found out that there's only four chapters to this game. So once we finish chapter two, we are basically halfway through the story, which is a really sad thought, but... I'm really hoping that this next chapter is going to be as long as the first chapter. If that's the case, we're probably looking at about 80 episodes. <laughs> Which is really cool because I love this game. We have unlocked free build mode, which is this one down here, Terra Incognita. I will most likely do a video on this as well. If I haven't already uploaded one, there will be one at some point just to show you what it's about really. So the first chapter is done. I am planning on going back through and playing it because we missed the challenge where we're supposed to complete the game in a certain amount of time. I think it was like 30 days or something. And we played a lot. I took it slow. I enjoyed it. So I need to rush through it and get that challenge. Anyway, today we are going to do chapter 2, Rimuldar. An island in eastern Alfgard where a town once stood surrounded by a crystal clear lake. Sounds really cool. I'm sad to be leaving our old world. We're leaving Multiville behind. We're leaving behind all the cool characters that we, you know, that we were with. I thought they were awesome. I just saw some like really cool monsters. I saw like a snail and something else. So that's cool. So here we are. It looks kind of, um, it looks like kind of like a poisonous rundown area. It looks, uh, it looks dark and horrible compared to the last area we were in. My child, you have awoken. This is the next place that cries out for your help. Multi, the land of Rimaldar. Long, long ago, the island you see before you was home to a prosperous city surrounded by crystal clear water. But now all has been corrupted by this blighted mire. The few survivors survivors live in constant fear of a dreadful disease. Oh no! Here my child, I offer this gift onto you. Okay, what gift is it? Oh, it's uh, one of those banner things. Okay, cool. So that is going to be our base over there. So prepare to be uh, amazed by dirt walls because we're probably going to start off with like dirt again. We're going to go back to square one. Head towards the light you see before you, Multi, and plant this banner of hope in the center of the ruins. All may seem strange to you at first, my child. The people you encounter here, the monsters you do battle with, even the new creations that you build. But I know that you will soon find your feet in this afflicted frontier. Sounds cool. Now go, Multi head towards the light. The reflection of the light in the water looks like a lightning bolt. <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm gonna start by taking the science and taking anything I can, literally anything I can, because we are gonna start with nothing, don't forget. Let me see, actually. I wanna see if we actually... Yeah, we literally have nothing. We don't start with anything at all, which is really crazy. Okay, we start with one plumbery. That's literally all we start with. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna grab anything I see. So this is definitely, look, we're in a poisonous peat area. We've got poisonous water all around us. I'm guessing this area is gonna be completely poisonous if we go into the water. What are these blocks here? Is that dirt? Oh, okay, it's dirt. The dirt looks different here. <laughs> okay, I wanna see if we, we can't take the flooring. Okay, can we take the pillars? I'd like the pillars, the pillars look good. We could put that outside our base because obviously I'm going to work on building us an awesome base. Oh, look at these mushrooms. A first frog stall. Okay, that's different. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna work on building a base similar to the one we had before, similar to Multiville for this area, but obviously we have to start somewhere. So I'm gonna have to like do loads of farming and stuff like that. So we've got some stuff around, that's cool. Um, what's this? We've got some crates, awesome. This is actually part of our base, so we don't really need to take them all. But, oh, look at the workstation in this area. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I want to take it. Just so it says you've had your first carpenter's workstation. I don't know why. I just like taking it. So that's cool. Can it... It can make fencing. That's new. And wooden steps. So we've got some new stuff that we can make already. Simple beds. 
Anything else? Um, small tables, comfy stools, wash tubs, so that's new. Pots, plants. So already we have a ton of new things here that we can make. That's really awesome. All right, enough messing around. Let's put down our banner of hope. Here we go. I wonder what villagers we are gonna get, first of all. I'm excited. Is that water over there? A warm and soothing light spreads all around, so now this is our safe zone. My child, the people who inhabit this blighted land have lost hope. They live in constant fear of the disease that stalks all who live here. Thanks to your efforts in Cantlin, my children are gradually regaining the power to build. However, the men and women of Rimodar have not the strength to resist this epidemic and have all but surrendered to the sickness. No, Moti, it will not be long before the banner's light draws the survivors to this place. Okay, you must build a new town here and purify this polluted land. Do what you must to eradicate the blight by which it has been gripped. And know, my child, that I do watch over you always. Okay, Rubis, I remember your name still. I've got good memory, kind of. Look, there's our first villager! It looks like a nurse or something, or a nun. <laughs> Heavens above, I never expected to find a poor, ailing patient in a place like this. What's the matter with you, my lamb? Does your stomach hurt, or your chest? Or oh, Rubus, forbid! Is there something wrong with your head? No, I'm fine, thank you. What? There isn't anything the matter with you at all? But if that's the case, whatever are you doing in a place like this? I'm gonna build a town, lady. Mercy me, you're the builder, the one with the power to create. Did you make this flag too? No, it just kind of randomly appeared actually, I didn't make the flag. <laughs> if you really are the builder, then the great shepherdess in the sky must have guided you here. She's definitely religious. Truly, the goddess does watch over us always. My name is Ellie. Please, my lamb, please help me save this blighted land. Okay, she's got a quest already. Awesome. I want to see what this block is here. I've been interested in this. What is this? It's a first water crystal block. <gasps> I like it. I like it. This is cool. I like that we actually have a bit of water in our base. That would be cool. I wonder if we can like make a fountain or like a little pond or something. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's do our first quest. This entire island is infected by the blights. Some even say that all the sickness in Alfgard is concentrated here. I want to save this place. I want to heal each and every one of the poor souls afflicted by the illness. Will you help me, Malty? Will you join me in fighting back against the sickness that plagues this land? Sure thing! I'm sorry, you want to know what happened to my leg? Well, what's wrong with her leg? It was my own silly fault, really. In my haste to reach the lights that I saw shining down here, I tripped over and injured myself. Just like a moth going to a to a light. <laughs> if I had some healing cream to rub on it, I'm sure it would get better right away. But I mustn't grumble after all. It's nothing compared to the suffering others endure. Okay, so our first objective is to build a healing cream. Okay, that should be easy. I probably, no, I don't have enough. So we need white petals. I obviously haven't got anything, so I need to collect something. There's actually like a room in here, but it's not finished. It's not completed. Where are we going to find white petals? All I see is pink. Oh, look, there's slimes over here. So... I guess we're gonna have to do a bit of exploring. We've only got 35 life, so like we don't have any, we need to collect all those seeds of life again. Oh, okay. So we have to kill the slimes. The slimes that seem to drop the white um, flowers. It doesn't actually look like we can find white flowers just like lying around like we could in Cantlin. We actually got to kill these little dudes to uh, grow the flowers. That's what I'm assuming anyway, because I don't see any of them around here. Whoa, look at this snail, look at this snail. Can we destroy these? Oh, look at these. Oh, cool, what's that? A splat of sticky liquid. Oh, I wonder what we can make with that. That sounds really awesome. Okay, let's carry on killing the slimes. Not dropping any of the things, are they? Literally only found one so far. This area is so awesome. I can't wait to like explore this a bit more. This is gonna be so cool. Okay, so we've got another plant. We need like one more. I think we need three. So we definitely need some more. Some really cool stuff around here. I'm gonna do my spinning attack. So we, we did keep the spinning attack. That's like literally the only thing we actually kept from the first chapter is the spinning attack. So let's kill this there. There we go. We got it. We got the third 
flower. I'm kind of curious about that tower over there because I have a feeling because like in the last area that when there was a tower like that, whoa, look how like desolate this place looks. And terrible it looks. What was that over there? There was something moving. I want to take all this stuff here. What does this say? There are some sheets of smudged and faded writing here. There's a goblin! Look, there's a goblin over there! Rimmeldar, our dear home, is ruled over by the baneful Hades Condor. If one could slay this foul fiend and cure the blight it spreadeth o'er the land with the fabled divine draught, the light may yet be returned. And yet, I fear that both these goals now lie far beyond mankind's power. The writing ends here. It looks like it was written a long time ago. Alright, let's take it all. Let's take all the stuff. Oh, I'm full already. I got full inventory already. God damn it. Can I build a chest? God damn it. <laughs> That's really annoying. Already we are full. I want to kill this little goblin guy. Hey, goblin guy. Hey, goblin guy. It's funny we start with a mallet, actually. I didn't build this. Oh, what did he drop? He dropped a broken branch. Okay, I really want to go up there. But we have a full inventory right now, so I guess I'll go and do the quest. And we will definitely go up that tower later, because I'm sure there's going to be something up there. It just looks so suspicious. And I see something at the very top, I'm sure I do. <laughs> I bet it's a chest with a seed of life. That would be awesome if it was. Okay, let's go back to the base. Oh my god, it feels so weird to start again from square one. We literally have, like, nothing. It feels so weird after leaving Multiville and having, like, everything at the tip of our fingers to nothing so very strange very strange all right let's um plant these and then we can take the take the resources and we should be able to make a healing cream what the monsters appear near my base already seriously oh my god we've been attacked already <laughs> by a snail oh my god he's actually quite tough too Wow! That is a, a big change from chapter one. I wonder how hard this is going to get. Look, come on, we don't even have defences or anything and we've already been attacked. Already been attacked by a random snail. So here we go, we've got our healing cream. Here you go, let's fix up her leg. Goddess be praised, you've made a pot of healing cream just for me. Do you mind if I use it now? Sure, here you go. Knock yourself out. Thank you, Multi. May the Holy Mother above bless your kind soul. <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen anyone craft new items from raw materials before. There's no doubt about it. You truly are the builder of legend. Oh, the goddess smiles down upon us this day. I beg you, Multi, use the powers that you've been blessed with to deliver this land from the blight. Okay, we've got some broken branches for that. Awesome. I'm guessing we're going to get another quest. Yep, she's got another one. But I want to make a chest ASAP. If we can. Can we make a chest? I really want to make one. Okay, cool. We can make one already. Let's just put that down so we can actually start storing items and stuff. And just whack it here for now. And we're just going to put everything that we've gathered so far into there. We've already gathered like quite a few different things which is really cool so yeah we don't really need anything we don't really need to carry around all that let's see what the next quest is multi as i'm sure you've seen by now this island is utterly engulfed by a poisonous swamp yep i've seen that the music in this area is really nice i don't know if you guys have noticed but it's like really quiet and soothing it's like i'll turn the music up so you can hear it I wonder if this is an area from a previous Dragon Quest game as well. Probably is. Anyway, let's carry on reading. Most of the people who used to live here succumbed to its effects. Almost all of those who survived here have contracted the blight and suffer still. My lamb, I would like you to build me a sick room so that I might care for the afflicted. I've always dreamed of building a house of healing to aid those poor suffering souls and it seems that the great goddess has finally answered my prayers. Please take this blueprint and build me the sick room of my dreams. Okay. So our first room is going to be a sick room. That's kind of random. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of room here. This is a big blueprint, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to destroy these little bits in the corner. And this. And these like little bits of flowers and stuff. And we're going to put it right there. Yep, that looks good to me. Let's see what this looks like. 
So we're going to have two beds. Oh, it actually has good beds in this uh, place. Table. We've got quite a lot of things to do already. But first, I really want to go and I want to go up that tower. Like, really bad. We're going to need to gather quite a lot of things anyway. So, you know, we can gather some stuff on the way. I'm going to put this broken branch away. There we go. Uh oh, it's night time. I wonder if this area has ghosts in and stuff like that. I'm going to kill some slimes here. We go, kill some slimes, kill some slimes. And we go, we've got another one of those flowers. I think that slime there is coming after us too. No, not the slime. All right, I'm going to go up that tower. We, I'm definitely, I am really like not taking no for an answer. We're definitely going up a tower. <laughs> I can see that there's a, um, there's a cave right at the back. I just spotted a cave already right at the back. Um, we probably should like collect some food items too or we're like gonna die because we don't really have a whole lot. I really like this area so far. Really cool. I'm really excited to actually go around and explore all of this area because it looks absolutely fantastic. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to see what we unlock. It's gonna be awesome. I love this game so much. It's definitely the best purchase that I have done for a while. Since maybe Witcher, I would say, which is uh, quite the accomplishment, I must say. That's how much I enjoy it. But uh, yeah, there's a chest here. There's a chest. Let's see what we get. What is that? Oh, a chimera wing. Oh, that would be helpful. That's cool. Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves up here. But yeah, which is definitely a different type of game compared to this. Completely, two really completely different games, but I was just saying like in the fun factor, this has um, been as fun as Witcher. Oh my god, um, I take full damage <laughs> and it hurts a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, I'm trying to get up this tower, but it's not working out too well. Let's see if we can... Oh, my platforming skills are terrible, aren't they? I know there's something up here. I just know it. I feel it in my bones. Alright, let's get up. Yeah. Oh, really? I was going to say yay, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> so there's literally just, like, medicinal herbs up here, which I guess is, like, good in itself, but I was kind of hoping for something better. But whatever. We'll take those. We'll take it. We'll take everything up here because we need everything. We really need to like have as much as possible because we start with nothing, of course. Okay, cool. I like these little mushrooms. I wonder what they're for. Probably like, I don't know. It's probably just like the mushrooms, like the mushrooms from the first area. They just look a little bit different. And I wonder what these stalks are for. I wonder if we're actually going to be able to find a use for these now. Because we found these stalks in the first chapter, but we never could do anything with them. So it would be interesting to see if we could do something with them now. Anyway, let's go back to base before I pass out. <laughs> I'm like dying here. I also really need to go foraging at some point to find some food because I have no food items. But we've had a nice little explore. Next time we're definitely going to do this sick room. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time. Didn't even get to cross. Oh.